Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a lipstick review and it's a drugstore lipstick review. I have discovered these lip products, I want to say a couple weeks ago, maybe less. It feels like a long time ago, but I have fallen in love with a formula and their drugstore. So I wanted to share that with you. I'm going to do some swatches of these. I have five colors here to share with you guys. And they are, by the way, the L'Oreal Color Riche Intense Matte Lipsticks. They look like this. The packaging is beautiful. We're going to get into all the details. So if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this channel. And let's get started. So these lipsticks are supposed to be matte lipsticks that last up to 16 hours. They're infused with hyaluronic acid. It leaves your lips feeling comfortable, looking fuller all day long. Um, so these I picked up on a whim. I was at all time. I was like, oh, those look nice um they looked just kind of very luxurious as well you can take this sticker off and it'll look much better but uh i picked up one shade and the shade i picked up first was the best shade ever it's my favorite in the collection and for this video i picked up a few more just so i can have you know a different idea uh, how the other colors perform and show you different colors but they have so many deeper ones like there's some beautiful reds in there there's nudes there's pinks i will say the one negative thing is that the nude colors pull very pink on me so i i want them to come out with some truer nudes that aren't so pink tone and bright and I find this at the drugstore just overall to be an issue um you know I find a lot of like nude pinks but they pull so bright I want something a little bit more muted a little bit more just subdue um so there's one in here that is my favorite now these remind me a whole lot of these NARS ones these are the power matte lipstick rouge something something i can't tell but guys these are extremely similar in the formula i like the l'oreal better i just do these also compare it with the dior ones as well these ones right here from the dior the the rouge dior and these are beautiful i've done a full review on these and the nars ones and the l'oreal lasts very long and they're just more comfortable on the lips so let's start. So this is the packaging. I think it is absolutely beautiful. It's sleek, it's smooth. You have the color name and the shade there, which I actually really, really like. This is the inside and that's how it looks like. I think it's a very sleek, it looks a very high end to me. I have bought the four lightest shades and then one that's more of a coral shade. They had beautiful reds in there and they have the deepest colors is a beautiful, deep, almost plummy color. It is absolutely gorgeous. Let's start with the color 103. This is Rosy Confident and that is the swatch right there. This is the lightest one and as you can see, it is a very pink. This is definitely my complaint about these. It's just the coloring. Give us some better nudes. I do fade it out and this is kind of how I wear it, but still. I want a true nudes uh, from drugstore and mainly from this formula because it's just so good. However, I do know that a lot of people pull this pink off and they love it. So let's try this on. There is a scent, a floral scent. So if you don't like that, stay far away from these. There's a lot of pigmentation right away. So this is 103 and it is very bright on me. I don't see myself using it very often, but if I take some off with my finger, put a more nude lip liner, I think I could pull this off if I want that brighter pink look. However, it is very comfortable, extremely comfortable. I think it is a high in quality um, and 
the scent goes away once you know you put it on but when you apply it you definitely can set, uh, smell the scent moving on to 113 which is le nude admirable and this is a little bit more of a cool tone of pink you see it right there but even this one has quite a brightness to it um, now the way i wore this one is with more of a neutral brown lip liner and what i do i just kind of tap it and blend it in that way where it's not quite as vibrant So this is the color 113 and I think it's a little bit less bright and more wearable on me. It's still quite pink but once you pair it with more of a brown lip liner it's definitely a color that I can pull off mainly when I have more of a cool toned pink blush and just a cool toned look overall. I think it's much more wearable. I will show you with a little bit of lip liner. This is the Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine. So I added just a little bit of the lip liner on top of the lipstick and I think it's just calming it down a little bit. I actually prefer to put the lip liner first and then dab the lipstick on top of it because it meshes a little bit better. But that is 113. Moving on to 123. This is Le Nude Independent and this is a more brighter color a little bit slightly rosier rather than full-on pink but it's still another another pink color now this one is almost fuchsia on me it pulls in between fuchsia and coral it's just a, a good mixture even though it's bright i do like this color i find it just kind of fun just with the eye look that I have right now, a little bit of mascara. This is a nice summer brighter pink for me. And I do think it's it's beautiful. It is extremely comfortable. It glides on so smoothly. And every single one of these colors has so much pigment in one swipe. But if you want to just dab it on, you know, it, it'll give you a wash of color. Moving on to my favorite color. This is 133 and this is more of a brown tone lip. And I mean, I knew right away that this would be my favorite. There it is right there. Are you guys surprised? I want more of these tones, even lighter rather than, you know, three pinks. Yes, 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 yes. I also like this one because you can turn it around and almost line your lips. This is by far my favorite color. This is the one I tested out first and I fell in love with it. Um, and the way I wear it, I can wear it full pigment like this or I can dab it and use my finger to blend it out and it is such a beautiful powdery kind of nude brown on me. I wear that with no makeup on without any mascara or any skin products. I just feel like it it makes such a cool effect. So this is 133. And last one is 163 and it is this bright coral color. It's so summery. I think it's beautiful. Look at this fun color. Look at this bright color. It's almost neon-y. I think it's so, so beautiful. I think it's going to be a perfect summer color. And you know, if you don't want to invest in such a bright color that you may only wear here and there, this is a great option. Now these are $14.99 at Ulta and $9.99 at uh, Target. So, you know, they're not the most cheapest at the drugstore, but they're not the most expensive. I got them at Target. So my favorite colors are definitely the 133. That's the one I will wear all the time. This is another favorite. I think it's going to be so fun for summer. And then the 113. Those are the three that I would pick again. So I think the formula is so beautiful. It's full pigment, but it's comfortable. These last so well. It says 16 hour wear. 
I think that's pushing it. But I did use this one, the 133. Uh, I ate lunch and it was still on perfectly. So I am a very impressed with the formula. Like I mentioned 20 times before, I, I need more nudes from this and less pinks. But that's a personal preference as some people do really well with those color of pinks. There's some beautiful reds. If there's a red from the drugstore that I would wear the formula wise, it would be this one. I probably will end up picking some reds because they have a really pretty deep red, a more orangey red. I just think the formula is so beautiful. They're more affordable and I just really wanted to share that with you. I don't do a lot of drugstores but when i find the formula that i find it to be even better than high-end i wanted to share the negative is the smell we need to get rid of the smell in our lip products it's not just my opinion i feel like it's everybody's opinion but that's the only negative that i have about these lip products so that is everything for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave me your thoughts down below have you tried them are you interested in trying them um and i'll see you in my next video Bye.